Hey everybody, this is Ann Brown on the line all the way from Akakik, Maryland. And I just wanted to show you one of some of our Facebook features of our group. Now, first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to log into Facebook at www.facebook.com or however you log in. Perhaps you have the link on your phone, perhaps you have the app on your phone, perhaps you have the link saved on your computer, no matter what, you want to make sure you logged in. Now, when you log in, it's going to bring you to your page. No matter how your page is set up, you want to make sure that you understand your page. I did my page with the black background. A lot of people don't do that, but you have so many options. Look at these options. You can, you can do your friends list, um, you can look at various pages, the marketplace. Um, there's so much that that's available to you. Also, up here in the right-hand corner is the menu. And so you can look at events, your friends list, just different things. You can, you know, you can set up a room, a group, all kinds of things are right here in this, in right there on your Facebook page. Now, Let's go to our group. I set up a group. Now I have my shortcuts right here on Team Believe and Succeed. If you don't have the shortcuts, what you would need to do is go to groups. That's right there on your page and you can search your groups. And so just put in Team Believe and Succeed. Okay, so when you do that, all of your groups are going to show up when you search the group team. And look at this. This is the first one we have, Team Believe and Succeed. So what I do, and it's a private group. So you can only find this group. You can find the group, but you can only see what's in it once you are a member. Now, everybody in the group can add their teammates as members of the group. So you can send a request to add your teammate as a member of the groups. Just so you know, it doesn't have to lay solely on Nick and myself. You can actually do this yourself. Um, basically, just make sure that you, you, you just add the person. If they, are a, if they are a friend of yours, and that's the thing, they have to be friends of yours. And so the, the thing about it is, if you want me to add somebody and they're not a friend of mine, Facebook will not let me do it. So what I have to do is friend that person and then add them to the group. So it's not an immediate thing. So it's better if you're already friends on Facebook, it's better for you to add them to the group. Now, again, this group is our team group. This is for people who are partners, SBAs, or members of the team of Surge 365. This is not for guests. We are not gonna be having presentations and stuff in this group. This is for the team, which is why it says team believe and succeed. So this is specifically for the team. Now, when I, and every page, everybody has their page set up differently. It comes up differently. So, and you can choose that. You can either, I have admin tools because I am the admin for this group. You will not have that. I also have member requests. Um, I have badge requests and all these things that I get because I am the admin of the group. I also have group settings and that kind of thing as well. And I can, add, I can actually augment some of the settings and the permissions and everything. There are various features. I can see how much the group has grown. I can see who is engaged most. I can see, you know, the admins and moderators. Um, right now we have one admin and moderator, which is Michelle McDaniel. And she doesn't really do a, a whole lot in terms of admitting or admins or, or, or moderating. Um, the, however, she does have the capacity to do more and to help me out when, when she can. Um, so, however, the most important thing that I want you to understand is that you should write under members or write under the title, even if you don't have all the members, you should have this line that actually tells you all the features of this group. Um, and, you, and it's different if you're viewing it on your phone. However, you should have it 
um, in on your phone and in if you're looking at your laptop or your desktop. And you should see about, you can look at discussion. I have my, my this group um, based on sorted by the discussion. So whenever I click on the group, I see the last thing that was posted. So if you don't have it that way, you might just be, you know, here you get the about the group. And so, you know, if you get the about the group, it's just going to show you, you know, the activities and that kind of stuff. And so I generally have mine so that it shows it opens on discussion. However, there's mentorship, there's guides, there's feature, there's rooms, topics. And again, I may have more items because I am the chair of the of the group. But what I want you to take, what I want you to um, pay attention to be, are these titles that everybody has. Events, you know, if we do an event, you can actually see it right there in the group. And also files, the file cabinet. You know, so many people are saying, well, I don't know how to find the file cabinet. Well, I'm showing you, you just look at whatever this line is, however it appears on your page and go to file cabinet. And when you click on file cabinet, you'll see the various files that we have. As a, for instance, the, the flyer, the blank flyer for the commander's cowboys trip is in the file cabinet. The travel to Tulum getaway is in the file cabinet. And not only that, the JPEG, um, are in the file cabinet. The surge prospects looks management worksheet is in the file cabinet. Team update calls and training that that file is in the file cabinet. Weekly update, weekly opportunities presentation. And get this, I'm going to delete this because it has changed. So I'm going to delete this from the file cabinet. Let me see if it will let me delete it from the file cabinet. I may have to, give me a minute. Uh, team update calls and training. Down, okay, so you can download and you can also see the original post. I think I'm not logged in as the thing, but it either way. I'll, I'll get that deleted and, and down a new one downloaded. Um, however, um, you can actually, that, that's something else I wanted to show you. All you have to do is go to these three, these three things and click download to download it onto your system. So we have all kinds of things right here. Um, we have a tracker form right here. Just download it. My 90 day blitz schedule empower me training. Um, we have all kinds of things. Um, step one, who do you know? Getting started schedule. There are all kinds of files in the file cabinet that you can use to grow your business. And it's right here on our team site. If you want me to add something, send it to me. I'm more than happy to add it. However, um, I just want everybody to know how to find the file cabinet. And, and you can even upload files. And I, well, I can upload files. I'm not sure if y'all have the access to upload files. If you don't have that, then I can upload the files if you send them to me. Or I can definitely give you, give you access to upload the files as well. So I just wanted to show that to you um, as, our, as our team Facebook page so that you know how to find the information that you need. Again, I keep mine set on discussion so I can see, oh, the, this featured part, I'm not sure if you see this, but these are like featured um, posts and you can actually just scroll through them to see some of the last posts. Uh, so you can scroll through them and, you know, and, and see, the, the last post that I've actually featured. When I post something, I make it a featured post or I may not. However, it is all of what happens is the featured posts show first. Uh, for instance, I just clicked on it. So that now is showing the featured post, the last featured post I, I looked at. 
But get this here. I just posted this. You see here where it says newest activity. You should be able to, to, to modify that. That should come on your page. I have mine sorted by newest activity showing first, which means that whatever my last post is, that is what I see. If you have it sorted by new post, it says show most recent post first. Again, it's going to show you the most recent per post. Now, the activities is gonna show you all the activities. So uh, it says the post with the most recent comments. So if someone had commented on a post that was, that was three months ago, it's gonna show that to you. If you don't wanna see that old post, then you want to only, you want to sort by new posts only. And what that's going to do is show you the latest post. So I just changed mine to the latest post. Now let's keep scrolling down because now it has the latest post on it. But you can always, you can also, there's another sort as well, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure where it is anymore. Anyway, we're not gonna worry about that right now. However, just wanted to show that to you in terms of the, what's happening in the group. So um, please, 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 please pay attention to this. Look at the stuff in the file cabinet. There's no sense in us having to duplicate stuff that's already posted there. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this session. Hopefully this gave you some information that you can use and put in place immediately. Have a great day and God bless.